When you receive this ballot, go to one of the empty voting screens over there and mark who you want to vote for with an X and come back here so uh, Sydney can check if there's a signature and uh, help you put it on the box. It's really fun because it's a new opportunity to vote because you're not 18 yet and you won't really, ha the, no one really has these types of chances. I agree with Stefania because it, it, um, so since only adults only over 18 get a chance to vote, why well, can't kids do it too? So it gives a great experience to everyone else. It's a really good experience to know how to vote so when you get older you'll know exactly what to do. And it's also a really good experience to um, find the uh, um, results of what, what schools voted for and who. They voted for um, um, like Liberal or NDP or Green. So yeah, it's really it's a really cool it's a really cool experience. Any occasion that we can allow an authentic experience to occur within the classroom is beneficial to the kids. Uh, in this case, it allows them to feel that they are having their voice heard in some way, even though it doesn't officially count. That they still get to put their two cents worth in. I think it's really important that kids are involved in knowing what, how the government works and what effect it has on them. So the student vote program, it's a great program because the kids actually get to take on the roles of the polling officers and things like that and they get to vote. And I think as a teacher that if we can get the kids interested in voting now, when it comes around, when they're 18, they're going to be voting.